Okay, so I gave it a talk with this same title at like five different conferences and it's never been the same one twice. So it started as very like high level architecture stuff. Uh, but this talk is actually more specific to a specific use case. You have a Kafka and you're worried it may go down. And the reason that the talk went from very abstract and specific is that we found out that even though a lot of people have um, running Kafka in multiple data centers, and there's a lot of very legitimate use cases. You may want a geographical distribution. You may have very specific laws about how data is allowed to be stored in this country versus the other country. Uh, there could be all kinds of reasons, but the vast majority of people really are just concerned that something bad will happen to their Kafka and are looking for advice. So what used to happen is that I'll tell about all those different use cases and how to implement them, and then at the end of a, a presentation, I'll have another hour of questions. How do I do failover? So what happens if my Kafka cluster goes down? So I decided to just skip the whole thing and do 40 minutes of what happens if bad things happen to my Kafka. So what kind of bad things could happen to your Kafka? Oh, I forgot, totally forgot to introduce myself. Uh, that's one bad thing that can happen, not to Kafka though. Uh, I'm Gwen Shapira, I work at Confluent. I used to be an engineer. I was a committer on Apache Kafka. I ran Kafka for a bunch of customers as kind of a solution architect. And then I became a product manager. And one of my products is the replicator for moving data between clusters, although there's a lot of solutions for doing it. So I tend to talk to a lot of people who ne have a need to do failover and need to run Kafka in multiple clusters. So a lot of the talk is basically like all the things I wish my customers knew before they went on the phone with me and asked me all those questions. So that's kind of the background of why am I standing here in front of you. Uh, back to the bad things that can happen to your Kafka cluster. Uh, the first thing that can happen, and that happens quite often, is that your Kafka cluster, for one reason or another, just fails. You know, something went out of sync, the controller went into a bad state, uh, some replicas are down, you try restarting something, and suddenly a bunch of workers just don't come up. And now you're spending the next 12 hours of your life, or 36 hours if you're really unlucky, just trying to figure out what's going on and how to start it up. And you s may think, oh, I wish there was just a good Kafka cluster somewhere that I can just move everything over to, and then I'd have way more time to figure out what the hell is going on with my primary. So that's one thing people are really worried about. The other is that sometimes your, your Kafka is fine, but your data center has, like, it uses shared storage, and the entire storage array goes down. It's not just Kafka. The databases are down, your Cassandras, people are just running around with, as a ch like chickens trying to figure out to, in what order do we even bring things up. Do we need Kafka first? Do we need the database first? Which application? This is the kind of thing, a much more widespread failure that you have to worry about. And then if you're really unlucky, like those poor guys over there, your entire data center may get demolished without warning, and you have to deal with entire data center being... That's obviously pretty rare. I have very rarely do data centers get demolished without prior notice. And then there is like natural disaster. If you, are in, if you have your data center in Houston this week, I would be extremely worried. If you have your data center in uh, New York while Sandy, a lot of my customers had to practice their failover procedure for the first time ever when Hurricane Sandy hit New York and a lot of financial data centers are, were in the city or even in New Jersey. New Jersey got even worse hit. So um, yeah, one thing to learn, don't make your failover two data centers, primary and secondary, on the two sides of the same river. They may get flooded at the exact same time. You won't believe how many people did that. So obviously we have all those bad things that everyone is worried about and we need a plan. 